alive. We are so alive. We're alive. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss this. We're going to do a, a, a prep for a fill. All right, you guys. So I'll let hey you. Guys. More of you guys get on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you guys, I'm, I'm doing a fill for my friend here. So, we're going to do a fill, and then I'm going to show you my prep for the fill. So, you don't want to miss this. All the products that I'll be using, I'm going to show you guys what is my prep for a fill. And as you can see right here, this is not a normal person right here. <laughs> that part. I won't take that personally. <laughs> that part. <laughs> She's one of those clients that everybody always asks me, like, you know, um, you know, from my personal experience as an artist, you know, when you're not experienced, when you just started the lash game, you know, you're gonna question yourself like some clients, let's just say if you if eighty percent of your clients come back and it's all good, like you have no problems. And then the 20% or the 10% of your clients that come back and they're like, I don't know, your lashes don't work on me. Like, you know, I never have any lashes. Right. I don't know why. I Just know that it ain't you. Right. It's your client. Mm -hmm. Yep. So <laughs> That part. Yeah. It, it's, it's your client. No, that, that's not me, it's you, yeah. bitch. It's so if, 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 let's just say if all your clients were complaining, then I'd be like, what right. the fuck am I doing? Mm -hmm. But if. I mean, you can't help it. You can't help it but have a couple clients that are like, you know what, all my lashes fell off. I don't know what happened. Then you know what? It's just something that you have to, it's process of elimination. People ask me that all the time. People try to slip in my DMs. This is why I don't check my DMs no more. And like, Cammie, I don't know why, but uh, I can't answer that question because pretty much I'm not your client and right. I don't know what you're doing. I didn't teach you a class. I, I mean, it's so hard for me to answer uh, anybody's question when it comes to retention because I'm not there and there's so many variables yeah so many variables are you using all my products and are you using it right right like, I there's just so many so when it comes to retention I don't want to even touch that because it's process of elimination it could be anything pretty much and it could be your client that you know just like my client she's just my friend here tell us why your lashes don't last bitch Mm -hmm. My hair just grows really fast, and yeah. I'm on medication that makes my hair grow fast, so my lashes fall out consistently. Yeah. Like, at least four or five a day. Yes. So I have to get a fill almost every week. Yes. So my client here, she has some clients, You, they have to get a fill, like, every week or every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And for those clients, I'm going to tell you right now, from experience, for those clients who who are, like, who, who complain all the time, you know, I, uh, uh, it's just certain clients you have to get your your you know for pickers for people who are on medication for people who are extra oily right or, or they're just they're just you know you don't know what's going on unfortunately it's not as an artist it's not your problem yeah it's up to them you got to be straight with them and be like you know what if you can't i mean if you if you can't afford to get your lashes done every week because this is what it takes to keep you know to keep the maintenance your maintenance mm -hmm. and keep it up then, you know, I, I got to let you go as a client. Right. But, you know, that you have those clients out there that are like, oh, uh, why, you know, and then you end up um, wasting your time because you're like, you're like, why, what am I doing wrong? Like, you know, so some of the clients, you just have to let them go. It's also education. It's also communication that you talk to your client and it's process of elimination. Like, what are you doing? Are you on any medica medication? Like, just like my friend here, you know, I, I always like to communicate with your client. That means like, you know, process of elimination, you can just ask her like, oh, how would I would, how, how would she or me, how would I or her know that like her lashes didn't last if I didn't ask any questions? Right. So you got to ask questions like, are you working out? Are you a picker? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You right. know? And if and, and, and if you if you go are you crying, bitch? Shit, are you crying? Did your man stress you out? Yeah. What the fuck you, you got going on? I mean? uh, just, All of the above. That part. Exactly. <laughs> like, who broke up with you, bitch? Like, that part. Like, mm. you know, like I don't know. But some clients, if if you tried everything and you communicate, let them go. Just let them go. Don't bother with it because you, what you're gonna end up doing is you know, doubting yourself and what you're going to do is just like go crazy and blame it on everything you can. But when, when really your client, it, it, it's not meant for her yeah, to have they aren't for everybody. They're not, Sometimes for everybody. they're not for everybody. And some people got to come back more often to, to keep up their lashes, yep. you know? So, I mean, just like, you know, your clients, you're not your client's responsibility. I've, I've gone through that as an artist, you know, I've had clients to where like they know that they're pickers and they know they cry a lot. They they know that it's them, 
but they expected me to fucking like like do their fills for free every week or they would they would call me and be like oh, i don't know it's your fault and then i would end up doing free until like you know until one day i was just i just got smart and i realized like hey you know just like anything bad just like if, if it doesn't work let it go gotta, let it go you gotta let it go you, know, you gotta end that, that relationship <laughs> like frozen in just this be bitch like, girl i try freeze my these hoes out if you ain't happy <laughs> i'm shit go to someone else okay because this is not happening seriously though seriously don't just, stress yourself out you trying to figure this out me. is there uh, artists out there that could relate just let it go don't bother with it you can't make everybody happy and you don't know what the fuck is going on with their aftercare or what's going on with their life and that's the truth but if you have out of 80% of your clients are happy and you got that like I said 20% to 10% that ain't happy don't stress out that just, part just let that go and then if I percent the time the client will come yeah. back anyway exactly right so she like um, a lot of clients are, are gonna be very understanding of it and you know um, Mika knows that she has to come back every week that's just it you know but there's some clients that you know they're like they want the lashes but they can't afford it but then they, they expect you to fix it you to fill it you know you to spend your time to like put so much many lashes on them and you giving them a discount and you doing everything you know it's just not fair it's not it's in any relationship partnership relationship friendship and your clientele you know the relationship that you have with your clientele it's just the way it is it has to be fair don't allow any client to make you feel like you know you can't make money or it's your fault or you have to you know do the most for them and it's just not fair you know so that's my advice to you uh if you want to you know if you want to really get into detail about the business side of it from my experience that's what i go through so as you can see right here that uh -huh, part. yeah wow usually you know before i formulated my glue um my like wow glue is amazing i test this is my friend this is the person that if my glue works on this bitch, right. it just means that <laughs> my glue, actually my, really good that this is bomb. right. This is like the best glue ever because she would come back no matter what. She would come back without no lashes every All fucking the time. week. I would be like, "What the Angelina? fuck?" <laughs> we about to fight. <laughs> I would be like, "Bitch, where?" It's a full set every appointment. It's a full every set appointment. every appointment. Every every two weeks, I'm like, "Where?" Every week, I'm like, "Where?" What the fuck? So we just, you know, we, we, we just figured it out. But that's why, you know, I'm, I I just formulated the best glue, you guys, because of her. Right. Because I was like, if shit works on her, if she used to come back with one lash on each eye, and then now there's fucking 20. We doing good. Uh, we doing we good, in the right? game. We, do. oh we in the God. goddamn like, game. Woo! Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so you guys. Winning. It, it, it is what it is, you know. Um, facts. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh god <clears throat> okay you guys so you well so what i'm gonna um you know the reason why um when you prep you know um back back to the task at hand back, back to the task, <laughs> um okay so wow why are they so oily and shit like what the fuck so you guys <laughs> what are the lash extensions i didn't clean them today because i knew i was coming here okay, okay. <laughs> so her lash extensions i wouldn't have to use the phone damn like bitch anything <laughs> else what else is wrong with me let the whole goddamn world know. What the fuck? Come on. This is what I'm happens. For it. This, this is what happens when you, when you do your friends' lashes. You're a test that part. Guinea pig, bitch. That part. Uh, you just better be happy you here, bitch. Oh, you are happy. I'm this bitch is retired. Lashes. I'm retired. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, um, as we were saying, um, <laughs> back, if, to back to this oily problem. bitch. <laughs> so if her I'm lash. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get serious on okay, here, you guys. Okay, you guys. Okay. Right, back to the, back to the phone cleanser. Okay. So, if my client came in with her lash extensions, if they weren't oily as fuck, like this one right here, mm -hmm. it's oily. It's all closed up together because, you know, volume lashes, they're very fine and they're very thin. So, any product you get on there, especially oil, sweat, anything that can close your lash extensions up, you know, just like oil, sweat, I don't know what other fucking shit that I can't even think of stuff. I don't know. Food. Face cleansers, yeah. serums, all that yeah, good shit. Serums have oils in it. You know, that's going to close up their lash. And people um, need to know that when you wear volume lashes, they're so fine in diameter, like a 0 0.03, 0 0.05, and 0 0.07. 
you know they're so that you're you're you have to communicate with your client you have to tell them to buy this you have to tell them that they need to brush it out they need not to get oils on them or any product that can close up because then it'll look clumpy and oily it's not fluffy anymore right so this is why i use the you know when when your clients come in and and, and it clumps up with oily or whatever product it is you have to use this so it can fluff out again but if they come in and they're nice and clean and it's not oily and it's fluffy i don't use this i would just go straight into my lash prep and prime because this is a cleanser and primer two in one without removing so this would save you a lot of time if your clients are not oily and shit you know so since they're oily uh -huh, i'm gonna use <laughs> i just this wanted is to difference. make sure you could demonstrate all your products uh, that part you know everything mm -hmm. a whole okay the tutorial. whole line okay mm -hmm. so you guys i'm gonna shake it up this is a foaming it what's what's good You're about welcome, this is, america right <laughs> so we have a foaming lash uh, and facial cleanser right here it's the cami wing llc and then um <laughs> unlike uh other uh you know uh well first of all it's a two-in-one it's used for facial and um you know it's for a facial and lash cleanser and um, also, as you can see right here, it's like the, the biggest fucking bottle on this planet. It's, it's 160 ml. So this will last you a very long time. I believe in bigger the better for lash artists because we are so busy. I don't like little jars. I don't like anything little because I go through it so much. Right. You know, I, I used to have like what? Back to back. Fucking when I used to do lashes. 10, 12 clients per day. Mm -hmm. I didn't even eat, you guys. I didn't even have time to eat because my clients would be late. And then right. I would be fucking just because they were late. I was like, fuck, I can't. You know, and I'd be starving the whole day. And then Angela would come in and just give me like a, a beef jerky and I'm that eating part. right there doing their lashes. That and, part. You know? I'm gonna so feed that's, this bitch. That's the struggle of a lash busy lash artist. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go in. And then look. Woo! Look at my brushes, Ooh. guys. Look, coming soon. Look at my brush. Coming look. soon. Look, my accessory case. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Yeah. So this Keep is what all I your put brushes my, in there. I put my brushes in here, you know? And then, um, you know, I uh, these are clean brushes. And how I sanitize them after a client is I use um, antibacterial soap to wash them. And then I just let it dry. Yes. Yeah, so that's how you wash them. All right, you guys. So this is the brush I'm going to use. And then, signature brushes, you guys. Signature brush. And then I'm going to tell her to turn. Okay, are you ready? So I always tell, communicate with my client before I, you know, apply the foaming lash cleanser on them. I want to be like, hey, I'm going to put some... Um, bubbles on your eyes. Oh, look at them greasy okay. ass Woo! lashes. That's my... They are fucked up. Don't even judge, you guys. My lashes. Oh my god, this is this is a good day. This is a good week. Okay, right, here you go. Just wait till the shit's over on your legs. <laughs> okay, you guys. So there. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in. Okay. So I want to make sure that I I clean I clean the lashes, girl. Oh, I'm cleaning the base. I'm going in. Look at that. Look. See. I'm making sure that I'm I'm cleaning all the oils and all the elements off of her lash extensions. Get all three. Of I them. get in there, yeah. How do you feel? It actually doesn't hurt. It doesn't stain. Yeah, right. It smells good. It's really light. Mm hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. bother you. Sorry. Most um, lash, uh, you know, before I formulated this uh, formula, I I just you know I use other lash cleansers and it would used to burn. Burn like a motherfucker. And then, you know, I would be like, what the fuck? So this, my lash foaming facial cleanser and uh, lash cleanser right here, you guys, it does not burn. It doesn't burn at all. It's not making my eye water either. Yeah, right. Okay, look. Look, I'm going in on Oh, Oh, get this. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go... You guys, so I'm just going to dab it off just a little bit so when I turn her, it doesn't, you know. And then I'm going to go this way. You see how easy that is? So I just, like, right here, I just make sure that the foam is off. And I'm going to go onto this eye right here. Sorry. See what happens? Um, that was a good example. When you don't tell your clients that you're going to put the foam cleanser, they kind of jerk a little bit. That part. So you want to avoid that. that. That was for example. <laughs> This is what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to do is make sure you tell your clients before you apply the foaming uh, lash cleanser and facial cleanser. So you really go in on it. And you guys, you could tell your clients to use this at home. Yeah. This is something that they can use to clean their lashes at home. Yeah. Trust me, you want to tell them to buy this shit so that it makes your life easier right. as a lash artist before they come in or every day, you know? Yeah, especially if they wear makeup. You know, sometimes all that shit settles on the lashes yeah. and then it'd be all 
dirty and you can't get it yeah. all off. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. And then how's my brush feel? It's really soft. I was actually just going to ask you as a client, mm -hmm. when we clean our lashes at home, do you recommend us being as, you're not rough with me at all. It's actually really gentle, but do yeah. you recommend us being that that harsh with them? Yeah, if you're a dirty bitch. Well, <laughs> on a, if no, you're watching them every day, <laughs> it ain't dirty, bitch. I mean, it depends on how much. <laughs> Just so we as clients know how to maintain it, you know? No, you guys. Um, So it depends. You want to tell your client, hey, you know, I, I, I say it's a personal preference. I say whatever makes them feel comfortable. They, You can start out by going gentle, and if it's not enough, do a little rougher. You know, yeah. so it's kind of like. Oh, okay, what should I do? Give it a little agitation. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you guys, I use, um, you can use, I just, I just like distilled water, you guys. I just like distilled water. So I use distilled water. All right, I'm going to, so I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, here so we go. Rinse it on the left. Okay, see, look. Okay, here comes the water. <laughs> see, this one. <laughs> So you I told you, here it comes. Yeah, we up. told you, heads up. Where here comes the water. Okay, see. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, here we go. Look, rinse it. Let's <laughs> let's get in there. Rinse it. You guys, I I love. This is like one of my best friends. You guys, so we fuck around a lot. But you know what? If it's your client, I yeah, still fuck around a lot. Too. No. <laughs> don't drown your clients. Don't. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm done with oh, you. God. <laughs> All right, okay, let's okay. move on to other eye. Thing. Yes, other eye. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. See? How, better? Better? <laughs> Bitch didn't flinch. All right, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, God. I'm Woo! Oh, my. Woo! Rinse it out. Wow. Get it nice and clean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh god, god. It's, it's beautiful you guys so during this process um so during this process you're gonna like you know all the lashes that need to fall out is gonna fall out and you know all right look at my organizer you guys boom i can't wait to show you so Ooh. this is my organizer see when i have my product in my organizer i make sure that it's upside down so i don't touch the spoolie right here whoa, whoa! See? All right. All look at how clean you guys look make sure that you buy this you guys so this organizer right here there's only like a couple left we're probably sold out but yeah yeah so i won't be having these anymore because guess what the new ones bitch look Whoa! it has a top it has a cover so look it covers your tweezers look at that you guys look at that whoa but then this one's on sale so you don't want to miss out on this yeah this was on sale for 48 48 dollars it's 20 dollars off you come guys. through come through all right here we go boom mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna use my beautiful fan i love this fan you guys oh shit. camming wing llc uh, fan. <laughs> not really but <laughs> oh god so you guys now i'm gonna make sure that look i'm gonna make sure okay and, and let's talk about clients you guys let's let's keep it real on the camming wing llc uh production program <laughs> this, right here this is production do you see how long it is taking me to prep? If she comes in with nasty lashes, if my clients come in late, imagine all the, look, prepping can take up to 15 to 30 minutes. Imagine if you're late and you have a ton of makeup and you have no lashes, how hard that is. Woo! Look at how fluffy you guys. Look at how clean. Whoa! Oh my God, okay. See? So I fan it out, I brush it out, and it's nice and fluffy. See, that's why, that's the difference between, like, everybody's asking me, what, how, when do you use a foaming lash and cleanser? Yeah, it's when you have your lashes, your client's lashes, or they come in with it, they're super, uh, oily. super oily, and it's closed up, and, you know, you don't want to feel that. You want to fluff them back out. You want to fluff them back out, and that's what it does, you guys. That's what, Yeah, because uh, that doesn't make sense to lash on top of lashes that are stuck together. Then yeah. they, then your whole set's not going to look fluffy, because they just look like you put lashes and then sticks. Exactly. Exactly. So you guys, it's like a little blow dry for your lashes. This yeah. is the time you see Kami brushing them out. Any yeah. loose ones that yeah. you need to be shed are going to come out and then yeah. mm -hmm. set you up. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, see all the lashes that are grown out. I'm going to remove them. So I'm going to remove all the lashes that need to be removed that are grown out because you know your lashes grow out. 
that your part. lashes have three stages. <laughs> they they grow but out and they fall out. How many people yeah. don't prune lashes? I mean, yeah. is that a question? Do you guys do that? <laughs> you should. But like, uh, I mean, do they teach you that in in class anymore? I, I, like, I hope they do. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my um <laughs> right here. I'm gonna use my eye patches, you guys. I love these eye patches uh, so much. They are very very comfortable. They just they have like just a, enough amount of gel so that you know it's not too thick of gel where you know when eye patches have too much gel it goes into the gel goes into uh your client's eyeballs i yeah. know a lot of you experience that and when when there's not enough gel then it doesn't stick to the skin right so this is like a perfect amount and it has like look see little slits so that three slits you guys so that it fits onto any eye cheekbone like any eye shape see that so it doesn't crinkle up when you're doing your so these eye patches you guys I can't even say they're they're so bomb they're so fucking bomb they're so comfortable you know fuck i love them oh, they're the best <laughs> yeah especially for oily bitches oh especially like myself for oily bitches oh my god oh my god okay here we go you guys okay, here we go. okay so when i apply my eye patches i'm i'm making sure that it is below the water line okay close how does that feel perfect perfect yeah how perfect it's really comfortable you don't even feel them all right perfect see not like those paper ones that cut you and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're so yeah. There's some eye patches that are so fucking uncomfortable, you guys. Like, eye patches are really, like, it's a must to use an eye patch and then tape. Some people don't. Oh, my God. Some people are so cheap. They just use tape. Bitch, that's so uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. Okay. Close. How's that feel? Good. Yeah, you good? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. See, very nice, you guys. See, it doesn't lift up or anything because it has the three Look slits. Right there yeah. on the cheek. Woo, yep. curve right to the cheek. Curve. Woo! Okay, so before I tape her, what I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna see, the, oh, take out the ones that are grown out. So I'm gonna go with my, see, I'm gonna <laughs> use my curved isolation tweezer and my everything tweezer. See, these the are head amazing. on the everything tweezers the see, small head you guys this is amazing to remove lashes you guys all right so let's go in and check you see so how i remove it is my isolation tweezer i'm going to hold on to the base of her natural lashes for dear life and then with my everything tweezer i'm just gonna see look i just like flip it off and it comes right off See that? So that's how guys. I do it. So there's no damage to the lashes. You just got to make sure that, you know, your natural lashes, when you do that, you're, you make sure that you hold on to the natural lashes so that when you, you don't pull to, it out, when you, when you go to remove the lash extensions that are growing out that you don't pull out her natural lashes along side with it. See? So I just go in and then, woo! see how easy? Look it right on off. Right, right on off, you guys. And then, you know, for my clients who come late, let me tell you something. From my, like, my clients who come late, I'm like, bitch, okay, you want a ton of lashes or you want, like, I, I'm just so, you know, when I used to do lashes, you guys, I, I'm so upfront with people. I'm, uh, you know, you want to be transparent. So I'm like, okay, look, you are 30 minutes late. What do you want to do? Right. Because it's going to take me, like, another fucking 30 minutes. By the time I prep it, by the time I prep your lashes, you're 30 minutes late, you're 15 to 30 minutes late, and then now you're gonna have like five lashes on each eye. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to like prep right, or do you want me to just leave these lashes and you come back for like a fill the next day or what? But I, I communicate because I want it, I want them to know that you have lashes that are, are fucking grown out and I really need to go in here and take it out. And that takes time. Yes. That takes time to prep, that takes time to do. You know, so I, I just- And then that's more lashes yeah. that you have to apply when you exactly. finish taking all the over, overgrown ones out exactly you know so i go in see right here Boom. there you go out easy oh that's my favorite part right it's so satisfying oh right okay how does it how I don't do you feel? feel you doing it you don't even feel me doing it right mm -mm. yeah uh-huh yeah because i'm doing it right bitch <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we try to save all five of your natural lashes on your <laughs> Comment, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mika, Mika gonna beat me up when she finally get up. <laughs> Wait till next time. Throwing this bitch down the stairs. <laughs> okay, so you guys, 
<coughs> before I before I prep her, before I I, I put on um, before I put on my tape, I just uh, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, prep and prime. I'll come through prep and prime. Woo! This is a must. This is a must. So I have to you know prep and uh, prime my client's lashes again. The, this was just to clean her lash extensions. Right. This this is just to clean the oils off. But this right here is it's an extra cleansing and then priming. Yes. So this is a cleanser and prime that you don't have to wipe off. That you don't have to like clean off or wipe off. You leave it on. You need the primer for, you know, adhesion and then uh, retention when you're applying your lashes. So the primer keeps your lashes on. You know, this is what is really good for retention, you guys. So I'm going to go in and before I tape, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure that I prime and I clean the bases of her lashes because you do not want to tape. Uh, you do not want to tape. And then do this because what if she had more shit in her lash line, like makeup and, you know, anything like uh, any residue, then it's going to get your tape dirty. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I have a, you know, I'm just very like the way that I do things, I, I think about it a lot. I'm, I'm very like, you know, meticulous and I, I, I just, it's just common sense for me. You guys. It's always a method to the madness, yeah. you guys. It's a reason for everything. Exactly. So I'm going to take this tape out. All right. So what I'm going to use is I love my micro wand. These micro wands are shit. So now I'm gonna prep. This is what I use, and this is the only thing that you should. I just love it, you know. So you see the micro wands, you guys, amazing. And Wait, everything okay. that I'm using, you can buy. This is all on my website. Okay. So see these, you guys. Look at that. They're long. See, it's long. It's not like you know the typical one where it's like round, and you you only get a little product. Look, this is so long and it, it absorbs a lot of product so you won't um you'll get you'll get you know you'll get a lot of you'll get a good amount of product on here all right so what i'm gonna do you see i'm gonna spray it put it together see you don't waste any products this is why i love this pump Woo! And a spray everything is just very sanitary very big and where can you find a fucking primer that is 100 ml that part a primer and cleanser that is 100 ml two in this, one this will fucking last you forever you guys depending on how many clients you have right true that <laughs> so when i as you can see i don't turn on my light I, I i do everything without turning on the light because a lot of people are light sensitive and the last thing i want is for her to be like <laughs> for crying and shit okay no she was already crying about that damn water this shit is <laughs> okay. that's why i know right okay so when you you go in and you prime six on july <laughs> Why do you prime? You have to prime the natural lashes where you'll be, uh, you know, when you prime, you want to focus on the natural lashes where you'll be applying the lash extension because her lash extensions are already there. So you're right. you're not priming the, the extension because it's already on. Right. What you want to focus on is priming the natural lashes. So here I am. Look, I pull it up. See that? Ooh, look at those. Ooh, I go in and I'm priming and I'm cleaning the base and I'm focusing on the natural lashes. You see that? I flip it up, you guys. Look, I'm going in and I'm making sure that I am priming and cleaning the natural lashes where I'll be applying the lash extension. You guys, oh my God, are we excited or, or what? This is not like, imagine when I have classes. Oh, oh shit. You guys, classes in January. I go in more into detail uh, than on here, you guys. So just know that learning from me, woo, we can't wait to teach in January, uh, right? Back to teaching. Right? See, after, see, after I, see, you think that like the foaming lash cleanser is enough? No, no. because when you go into the baseline, look at all this shit. Look, look at all that, you guys, that I have on, on the brush. See that? You can never, this is why people have retention problems. Right. Because you gotta really go into the base. You don't know what's in the base. Exactly. You know, <laughs> look, the base. I have, she has so many fucking like, oh my God, what, what, what is this? See that? Little and residual I, yeah, eyeliner. Yeah, right? Eyeliner, look. And you don't know until you really get into the baseline. Look at that. See? And this product, oh, it's so amazing. It's strong yet gentle to, see? You can, like, clean the lash line. It can go into the skin you know, and clean the skin. See that? So I'm going in, and I am priming her. I am cleaning. The whole look at that. Shebang. Right? Look, look at that. Woo! Look at how dirty compared. Woo! Girl, oh God. right? Ooh. And people wonder why, like, oh they my God. They have retention problems. They have retention problems because you're not fucking prepping. Exactly. You're not cleaning, okay? 
all that stuff would have been attached yeah, to the lash that, right? extension. Like, all this, any type of residue that attaches to your natural lashes, when you go and apply your lash extensions, it's gonna fall right off because it attaches itself to the dirt, the oil, whatever residue that is on the natural lashes, and it won't, that's why your lashes don't last long. Yep. Because if you don't take all this residue off of the natural lashes, then you'll be lashing on dirt and oil, which falls off the next day. Slide right the fuck Slide off. Slide right the fuck off, you guys. And people wonder why they're, you know. Why they falling out like yeah. holding your pillow and shit. Exactly. That's because they, Woo! they yeah. was never stepping. Yeah, you guys, like, yeah. Look at that. So I go in and I make sure that, see. Ooh, there's, <laughs> even after the, um, the cleansing, the foaming uh, lash and facial cleanser. She has still has residue on the base of the lashes. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look, see how it got on the. Imagine you don't want this on your tape, right? Because your tape. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Ooh. Because your tape needs to be clean, uh, so that when you lash, you can see what you're doing. Any type of residue on the tape, it's not gonna help. See that, dude? This primer and cleanser, you guys. This is a must. If you want good retention, look at that. You need to buy my uh, primer, lash cleanser and primer two in one. And you guys see how uh, vigorously she was using those brushes with the foam, and she's yeah. still getting stuff off. Right. The lashes. Look at that. Oh, oh. Look that at that fine detail of you the micro that? wand. Look at that. Wow. Do you guys see how dirty it is? Woo woo. Woo woo. Again, you're welcome. <laughs> you're a great visual, bitch. You all fucked all right. up. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, we're back, you guys. All right, so after I prep and I prime, and before I um, start taping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to dry her natural lashes. We want to dry the primer. You never, ever want to lash on wet lashes. That's a no-no. Because you're going to have retention problems. See, you can have retention problem any oh, yeah. Anything can Anything. lead to retention yeah. problems. Yeah, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Cammy, your glue don't work. Cammy, I don't know. No, mm -mm, no. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Is my eyebrow still there? Yeah. No. Okay. How does it's that... okay. We just go. Yeah. yeah. We just go shave them up a little bit. <laughs> Cammy, yeah. did my eyebrows too? Oh. Yeah. Isn't her eyebrows nice? That's I know, cute, bitch. bitch. Looking bomb. Yeah, right? All right. So I just make sure that her lashes, her natural lashes are dry before I start, you know, doing lash extensions. Before I start doing her set, you guys. You see, prep is very important. Prepping is so important. If you don't got good prep, mm -hmm. your lashes not going to last, baby girl. Yeah. You could be the best lasher or all yep. your shit fall off the next day. Yep. It, it's it's like everything, you know, lashes, is just, that's why it's tricky. It's not just it's one It's your thing. foundation, you know, yeah. you guys, if you don't have a good foundation yeah. to anything, it's just going to fall apart. Yeah, yeah, there's no easy way, there's no skipping, there's, you know, anything in life I say, you know, it, nothing comes <laughs> easily, and everything, you need a foundation, you need, it, it's like everything, steps, you know, to get to greatness, <laughs> to get to fucking retention. To get to greatness. <laughs> so now I'm going to tape. It makes sense to tape now, you guys, right? Because everything is nice and clean, and I'm ready to start. So I'm going to use my Nichibon tape right here. Nichibon. Yep, I love this tape so much. It's uh, everything that I use, you guys. Just know that it's available for sale. Cammy Moy, you know, see. And uh, if you guys don't know how to save it, you, I, I don't care. It's good to plug your own yeah. shit, don't it? I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how you say my name. It, the right pronunciation for my last name is Moing. But you know what? Fucking Guyan, Naguyan, fucking you, whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy my shit. That part. Yeah. As long as you All get right. on the website, bitch. Right. So now I'm going to do a tape down. When I do a tape down, you never, you want to stay below the waterline. It does look close, but you want to stay below the, the waterline, you guys. You see that? Look at that. Bye, Dawn. Yeah. See ya. Look at this. See that? Boom. It looks close, but it's really, look, you see, I'm going to flip it. See, it's not on the waterline. You don't want it on the waterline. What happens when it gets on the waterline, it's more likely going to go into your eyeballs. Right. So this is why, you know, when your clients, when you do your clients, if they talk a lot, look, their cheeks move up and they're going to move. This is why you get tearing. And this is why you get, you know, um, red eyes sometimes because when they talk, all this will move up and it's going to scratch their cornea. So tell your clients, shut the fuck up. No, I'm just like, shut up. Shut up. Mm-hmm. 
However you want to say it's the same shit, right? All right, here we go. All right, there you go. There you go, you guys. How you feel? Right? I don't even have anything on. I know, you guys. I've had... So comfortable. Right? Mm -hmm. And have you had lash fills from other people or whatever? And, yes. And do you feel sometimes you're scratch corny a bitch? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you I feel like you're going blind, bitch? They put it inside my eye. Ooh. Oh, God. The tape goes inside. It's the worst feeling ever, you guys. It's the worst, you know? And then clients, they don't tell you. It's so uncomfortable. You know, okay. Oh, no. I'd say shit. Ooh. Okay. Of course okay. you do. Of course you do. Okay, so <laughs> you guys, this is my thin tape. Can you see that on here? Can you see that? You guys, I'm gonna... that's retina. Or that part. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh man, I I can't go back to uh, lashing clients anymore, you guys. I just have too much fun. I mean, I just, you know, I I want to. I miss my my clients, but. You know, this is, I have so much shit to do. Okay, you guys, with my thin tape, this, let me tell you something about this thin tape. It's fucking amazing. Okay, look, it's thin. You don't got to use like big ass, thick ass tape to, you know, tape back their lids. You know, when you tape back the lids during lashing, it makes it easier because their eyelids don't get in the way. It doesn't mean that you have fucking like old eyelids. It doesn't mean anything about your eyelids. Anybody. I, I pull back the lids for everybody. If they have good lids, saggy lids, whatever the fuck lids, I <laughs> I just do it because as an artist, I want to get into, like, I want to see every lash. I want to get into the inner corner and the outer corner. And this thin tape, amazing. It's amazing. Let me show you why. All right, so I cut out three pieces, okay? So see the outer corner. You don't have to use a lot. Look at that. You see that? Look. It, it gets into, it's so detailed, you know, see that? It gets in the corner and it pulls whatever you need to pull up and not, you know, if it's thicker tape, look, you pull up the whole damn lid and you don't even need to do that. <laughs> you see that? So you go up and then look, see, boom. That's all I need. See all that extra eyelid right extra there, eyelid. And pull then, it up. Yep, and then now we're gonna do the inner corner. See, look at that. This is why I get every lash, you guys. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Done. You guys, this thin tape is a miracle. It's a lifesaver. It is everything to pull back the lid. It's available on Camming Wing LLC. LLC. This is, ooh. I guys, you just it's a it's it's a game changer. It's a life changer, game changer, you know. Yeah, you guys, it's it's skinny tape on the website. Yeah. If you're looking for it, seven dollars. Yes. Cheap as fuck. It'll last you forever. Right? Yeah, it lasts forever. It's a big ass yeah. roll. Woo. Yeah. See that? Pull back. You guys, how excited am I for classic lashes? My God. Are you guys excited for classic lashes like coming? We got some bomb ass. Bomb ass classic lashes. Okay, so one advice that I have to give you guys about pulling, also pulling the lids back. You want to pull back the skin, not the, the not the lid. Right. So when you pull back too much of the lid, you see, if, if you pull back too much, it's going to leave, um, the fumes are going to get into her eyes. Mm -hmm. And during lashing, this is why people are like, oh my God, you have red eyes. They're, they're, burning. they're burning and stuff. It's because you're pulling the lids back and you're allowing the glue vapors to get into their eyes. Mm -hmm. So you want to just pull back enough. You got to check it and be like, yeah, Mika, can, can you see? see me? Right. Mika, can you see me? Can you see me? No. Yeah, what am I doing? I don't know. Okay, Probably exactly. So if, <laughs> so if she sees what I'm doing, then you know what? That's too much. That's too much opening. Uh, opening. You don't want to allow vapors of the glue while lashing to get into her eye. And you, that's what happens, you know. A lot of uh, a lot of times, people just don't uh, pay attention to that detail, but it's very important that you don't pull up so much when you when you lash. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, you guys. So, <laughs> so let's talk about glue. Everybody is just, you know, um, my my formulation for my glue is is very different. It's very it's very good because so all our glues. I have three glues. All our glues, they last up to three months shelf life. When you get it open or unopened, three months only. 
opened or unopened. When you get your glue in the mail, you want to make sure that since you know it, it's 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 on in in transit, you know it's it's been everywhere. So you, what what you want to do is put it in the fridge right when you get it. You want to put it in the fridge so that you know it uh, it just uh, cools off. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and so, you guys, this is per yeah. you know the manufacturer. This isn't just some shit we pull from yeah. the air. You wanna <laughs> yeah. you wanna chill your glue down. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, you want to chill your glue down, and then when you're ready to start a client, take it out and make sure that it stays room temperature for at least 20 minutes before you lash. You don't want to take it out of the fucking refrigerator. It's cold, and then start lashing. Yes. You're going to have uh, you're gonna pro have a problem, so you want to take it out, let it cool down, and then you know what I do is I keep it in, and you don't have to put it back in the fridge anymore. You can just keep it in like a, a nice, you know, contained jar. Uh, like this. Or keep it fresh jar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Available at what? What is it? Camming wing element. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Or you can buy a. This is a food jar. You guys get some rice. Put it in here. Uh, well, it's a. Uh, yeah, food it's jar. like a food container. It's a food container. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to buy my shit, shit, buy this. And then put some rice in there, uncooked. Yes. Uh -huh, and then put your glue in there. Ooh, please don't put no cooked please ass don't rice put no in there. Right. Oh, who does that, right? <sighs> so um. <laughs> The struggle so, man okay all right all right you guys so i'm gonna use the light wow glue all right i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna shake it you have to shake it angela you want to talk 20 seconds you guys shake it back and forth no up and down please you see how cami's rocking it you don't want to go like oh this? please don't because not 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 like you you know giving you your mana whoop, whoop. don't do this don't do that don't do that just do this because it gets all over the uh, the, spout. the spout. You shake it up, and then what happens too? If you guys ever notice, if you shake it up and down, it's gonna be glue all in the lid yeah. or the cap of your glue. Then yeah. you clean your fucking nozzle off, and then you put your nozzle back on. Yeah. And you screw it on, and then you got glue all over your lid, and get all over your nozzle. Yeah. And you're like, what happened? Yeah. So get ready for this, you guys. Get ready for the. Oh, this let me is, get a, you let me get her some out. Here you go. You, you guys. have to do this, okay? If you don't do this, this is what's gonna happen, okay? There are it's, no it's, there are no returns for the glue. Okay, if if you guys like, uh, you're like, oh my god, uh, glue got all over my nozzle. Why? Because of this. You guys look, it's gonna look. So you have to clean it. Okay, so just know that when after you shake it and see, I'm gonna put in my glue ring. See this? I'm put in my glue ring, and I love this glue ring because it has it's like flower things. glue okay, rings. You guys, you gotta wipe it. Why? You gotta wipe it immediately. So all that shit does not, Ooh. you see that? You have to wipe it immediately. So all that shit does not clog up. Yeah. And then you just put it back. And get it back yeah. out in 20 to 30 yeah. minutes for a new fresh drop of glue. And you have to have a new fresh drop of glue every 20 to 30 minutes. Because all this, you know, the reason why I shake it. So because the glue, all the chemicals settled. So, mm -hmm. air, so this is going to settle in your glue ring. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that's why every... You want some water? You want some water? <laughs> you want some tea? I'm good. You want some ice? I'm good. Okay, all right. I'm choking on the greatness. Woo! That part. <laughs> so every drop that you do, just know that it's going to settle too. So that's why if you want to keep retention, if you want your glue to like um, last long and have good retention, you want to... Uh, switch your glue drops out every this is why I love this glue ring it's like two so I don't have to switch out my glue ring anymore. exactly you know, it has two slots so every 20 to 30 minutes change it out okay alrighty then so now I'm gonna lay on are you ready <laughs> are you talking to me are you ready okay Let's talk about the Cami Wing LLC lights. This is the greatest light ever. Greatest invention. The greatest, you know, it's great. And now it's available. I'm going to have it wall mounted, you guys. You can you mount this um, on the wall. Just saying. So you have it as a, a base lamp or you can, like, mount it. And uh, the mount will be available uh, soon. All right. All right. So when I turn on the light, you guys, I make sure you do not want to turn on the light directly on your client because it's going to be very shocking so whenever i turn on my light there's uh three settings and four is the highest so first setting what i'm going to do is i just um i just uh my first setting i move it away from my client and then slowly i move it to my client 
Are you okay? Mm-hmm. It's still hey. bright, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's not uncomfortable, but okay. I can still see it. All right, so can I turn it up a notch and see how you feel? So this, I communicate with my clients, you guys. I just don't, like, turn it on bright. Some people are light sensitive. So, I mean, just this, the first setting is enough for you to lash. That's how bright this is. Look, it's an LED light. It's long so that you have no blind spots. Before I used to lash, I used to have a light on my left, a light on my right, because um, one wasn't enough. Right. But now one is enough because it's so long and it's LED. You never ever want to lash. You never ever want to do any beauty services under warm light. All right. How's that? Good. Okay. Just go on and blind a bitch. <laughs> Might as well show. I'm oily and dirty and mine's will be blind. That part. How's that? You have good How's lashes. Is this okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, one more. This last one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't. I'm not even going to say what I want to say. <laughs> say, 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 say it. Be honest. So God damn. You know, the... You know, my audience has to hear like it's this. It's bright is, as fuck. Like it's bright, bright as fuck, you guys. But this, it's not uncomfortable. Like okay. I can deal with it. Okay. Yes. So do you want me to turn it down or can I keep it like this? I, you're fine. You can leave all it. All right. All right. Thank you. I was going to leave it on anyway. Thank you, but... Right. That's what I said. <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> you guys, I, I just want you guys to know that I'm pro more professional than this. I am not. Um, no, she is. <laughs> I would not talk to my clients like this if I had clients. Uh huh. Right. You know, I, I, I'm like a chameleon, you guys. You know, as, you know, any workplace, you know, I, I adjust to my, everybody, you know, on here thinks that I cuss a lot and I'm fucking like, I do it like, no. When I had, um, you know, uh, clientele, I see, you know, who I'm dealing with. Oh, yeah. Every client that comes in the door. We would adjust accordingly, you, you guys. Adjust accordingly to your personality. If there's a conservative client, I'm conservative too. Right. I don't ever cuss. I respect the client. I respect people. You know? So, people out here, don't get me wrong. A bitch is professional. Okay? AF. Okay. So, don't get it twisted, bitch. That right part. <laughs> that part, bitch. Yeah. That part. That so, part. So, um, I use D plus on Mika. I, um... Come through with the 15 tile lash box available okay. on, uh... Look at this. <laughs> Wing. <Cameo> <laughs> <laughs> Box where I put my lashes in. Um, on a, you guys fucked it up for me. You guys killed oh my God, I was, You know what? Whatever. It's like on the camera. Okay, so here we go, you guys. This is beautiful. This is uh, this is all my diameters. You see that? 15 tile, you guys. I love it. I, I use the most, so I don't have to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so D plus 0.05s. All right. This is. I pull it out, and this is. Look. There's no numbers. There's no more numbers at all because I like to customize my shit. I hate tiles that have, like, numbers on them. Like, let's say from 8 to 13. Right. Bitch, I am from 8 to 18. Okay? Like, okay. I, I lash, like, the, the most, you know? I, I, I want to customize my tiles. So, this is why when I created my tiles, there's no numbers on here so that you can customize it to whatever, whatever link you want. And you see my, uh, my strips right here, it has... The diameter already for you so no matter what tile you use number or not see it has the um the curl okay it has the diameter and it has the length for you on the strip boom who thinks of that that part cammy wing llc that part <laughs> you guys i'm gonna do um mega volume on her because woo, single lashes bitches. just don't do oh, my God. oh, oh God. Okay, a lot of you guys, like my mega volume is how I do it. Well, I'll give you a little. Let's get example. in here. Let's get in here. So, the mega volume tweezer okay, I have let's get is tweezer back first. in stock. Woo! Guys, this is the best. Look at this. So, I'm going to pull out. Look. Look at that. Wow. Can you see that, you guys? Look at how many lashes I picked up. Just snatched them right off. Snatched them right off. Look, if you're a pincher, look, I don't, I don't know like why people are like, ah, look, bitch. You see that? Pinch him. Pinch. Look. Look at that. I, I can pinch, I can pick it, I can do anything. Look at that. My lashes, there's no problem. If you're a pincher, you should love this shit. I don't know. Right? You know, I think it's the tweezer that people use that aren't picking up the lashes correctly. If you use my tweezers, you have to have really good tweezers to do mega volume lashes. Because if you don't, they're not going to pick up as this much. Exactly. This is the amount that you need to pick up. So if you don't have good tweezers, don't blame it on my lashes. You will not get a refund. 
<laughs> if here, I could do it. Here at Kevin Wing yeah, LLC. Kevin Wing LLC, you will not get a refund because if I could do it, you can too. All if right. you can't do it, you are very questionable. <laughs> And we uh, questioning yeah. all your shit. Okay. You know <laughs> like where? How? Bitch, what? Where? Where? Uh -huh. Send me a video. Yes. Okay, you guys. So let me show you how to do a mega volume. Okay, so I go in, right? So what I like to do is I take it down a little bit. I, I like to fluff it out a little bit, you know? Just get in yeah, there. Yeah, look. I like to fluff my shit out a little bit. I go in. Boom. And look at this, you guys. I This ring right here, Just see? Turn it around, it tapers you guys. The, here we look, go. You see this? If I put in this hole right here, it really tapers my... Um, Bases. bases all right so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dip just a very little you cannot dip a lot you guys because my glue woo, a little goes a long way so just at the tip you know like this just the tip and then look i go in and look watch this you guys look wow look at that see that <gasps> boom and look at how look look at how fast my glue sets 0.05 seconds if you use a lot, if you fucking dip too much glue, it's going to, like, you can't. Yeah, you guys. If my you dip glue, in that shit all through the whole shit, of right? course, it's going to take longer. As you can see, look, it, it, I'm, not, I'm not fucking with you. You know, it dries, like, so quickly. You know what I mean? So this is how I do my mega volume, you guys. So I go in. Yeah. So I go in. Look. Look. I want to spread them out just a little bit. Well, not really a lot. Okay. So I go in. I... Sorry, I'm at an angle, you guys, so I take it out. Look, I'm going to go in. You see how easily I picked up my mega volume? And I dip it just at the tip, and I go in and look. I close off the base. Look at that. Look at how easy I made my mega volume. Look at that. Look, and it already set. It is 0.05 seconds, you guys. It depends if on how much you pick, how much glue your... your um, it just depends on how much glue you're dipping into. If you dip a lot of glue, it's not gonna dry in like fucking 0. 0.05 seconds. The more glue that you 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 uh, you dip, the more glue that you apply, the longer it's gonna take to dry because exactly. you dip too much. Right. You get what I'm saying, you guys? And be mindful yeah. of your humidity yes. and your temperature, you exactly. guys. Yeah. So, um, you know, my oh god, I, I love doing mega volume. Here, let's do it again, you guys. Let's do it again. See, I go in and I spread them out. You see, and then look. You see that how easily it comes up. And let's 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 do the pinching for all you pinchers. Look, I pinch it. Look at that, you guys. Look. So I pinch it. I dip it. Look at that. Boom. Set. I let look. Ooh, look set. at that base. Set. Done. You guys, the glue, I'm using Light Wow glue. It is absolutely amazing. For volume lashers, for mega volume lashers, the Light Wow glue sets in 0 0.05 seconds. If you know how to use it correctly. If you're dipping just a little bit, just you need just a tiny bit. You do not need a lot. If you use a lot, I'm sorry, I can't. You will not get your money back at Camming Wing LLC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should be a model. Here, right. Cami Wang LLC. All right. All right. Okay. So let's show these ladies. I, I, it's hard for me to lash, and I, I hope that you, you get this, Angela. So let me swing around that, here, yeah. bitches. The way that I use my uh, glue ring is this. So this is how I, I do my mega volume. I use my glue ring. I do not pinch because pinching you have oils on your fingers, that you know it does not guarantee uh, retention. You know you always have oils. You produce oils on your fingers. All day everywhere. long. Everywhere you fucking perspire, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you know, like you're oily, unless you're a dry ass bitch. But your fingers, you know, <laughs> it produces oils. And when you pinch, hey, you know, can't guarantee that uh, retention. But I, uh, you know, I'm just saying. Let's get in here, okay? Fanning it out, fanning it out, picking a shit ton up, okay? Look, I'm look when I fanned it out. Look at that. It's already made. Look, my mega volume, you guys. Look. Just fanning it out, I can pick it up, and my mega volume, I don't have to dip it. I don't have to really do anything because, you know, I'm a pro like that. But the, look, my it's mega pro volume. Pro professional. Is, exactly. <laughs> look. So now, you know, I think it's a personal preference if you want to, um, if people uh, isolate first or whatnot. See that? I go in, and then I. Look at that, you guys. Boom. Are you guys ready? 
You guys like that? that? Bitch, what? Uh-huh. You see that, it's you that guys? Mega look, volume look, right let's there. go in closer. Look at that. Look at how it's set, you guys. Look at my mega volume. Wow. You saw that, right? Did I just dip it and put it on there and did not close up? There you go, you guys. That, that was fan. 0.05 seconds, you guys. That was so fucking fast. And my mega, but my fans spread out. This is a fucking, like, what, 20D right here? Right. This is a 20D, you guys. I'm <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's do another one. Look, let's do look. it. Is it moving? Is it closing? No. Look at that, you guys. Look at how beautiful. Oh, I just can't. Like, it's so fucking, ooh. Ooh. Lush is right there. Let's wiggle it. Let's wiggle it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Listen. trying not to laugh. Let's wiggle it. Let's wiggle it. Let's wiggle it, bitch. And I'm using like an 18 on her. You see that, you guys? And this bitch has no lashes. <laughs> you made like, that abundantly like seven. clear. It's like yeah. seven on it. You see all seven of them right yeah. there? Uh -huh. Woo! <laughs> uh -huh. whoa, whoa. Wait, hold up. Oh, my God. I forgot about my ninja mask. You guys, what about this mask, though? I, want, I don't want to breathe all over my client. You know, look, uh, this mask is amazing. It's available at Camming Wing LLC. <laughs> <laughs> you need this mask, you guys, for um, every <coughs> for permanent uh, eyebrow, uh, semi-permanent eyebrow tattoos. If you're in the beauty, if you do nails, if you this carbon filter mask is everything, you guys. And let's let's look. It protects you and your client. If your exactly. clients are fucking smelly, you won't smell them. And if you're smelly, they won't smell you. Because, you know, like I said, artists, we don't take a break. Like, I'm talking for real with you guys. I, I never even had time to brush my teeth. Like, after I ate my lunch. And it, what if I want to eat some onions that day? You know? And I, what if I want to eat some ha ha la la ha la 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 What if I wanted to eat some, some fucking onions, you know? And then... And I didn't have some time garlic to, and yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck. What if I want garlic, Parmesan and shit? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I put this on and let me show you. It's better than a regular mask because it is thick. And also, you guys, if some um, some uh, lash artists, the glue bothers you when you're applying it or in, yeah. cl in close proximity, this also protects you. So if you're sensitive to the lash glue as a lash artist, get yourself a mask. It helps filter exactly. out the fumes. Exactly. You know, I'm a. Uh... So, you know, and I'm going to show you guys. Let's oh, get back in here. Oh, look at this. Fuck. Look, look. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my look. God. Look, it's set. Look. I'm telling you, I ain't fucking around with nobody. Look at that. Just you drop are it on seeing, her forehead. Look, I'm just doing drop it on her forehead. That's my mega fan, you guys. I dip it, <laughs> and then it dries. It's and then look like at it's how the first time some shit been on her forehead. <laughs> like, <I'm> just... <laughs> mm -hmm. Look. Again. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Look at that, you guys. So, oh, we only got a minute. A minute. Right. Almost a All minute right, back. you guys. We're coming back. We'll come. Look, but that proof. Look, <laughs> proof of purchase. You will not get any fucking returns on the Cami New Yang Wing LLC. Whatever you want to call it, you guys. You see it loud and clear. Look, this is. Look. Wow. Ooh. Look at that base, though. Look at that. Woo! Okay, well, let's focus. Woo! Talk about mega volume right there, bitch. Woo! There you go. Yeah, there you go. It's set in seconds. Yeah. Seconds. 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 Hurry, you guys. Yeah. Ship off my forehead. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you a hater. You are such a hater. Hater. Oh, but beautiful, though. Uh -huh. Oh, let me go show you guys something. So, you know what? Um, Don't waste this. If it dries up, look, I just re dip this shit. Look, I would go in, look, and then I'm going to apply it on her lashes. Fuck it. Uh-huh. Look, it doesn't matter. Look, I'm going to go in. Look at this, you guys. I'm going to go in, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use that. Look at that. I'm going to use that fan. Just like a pre-made, you guys. I'm going to fucking re-dip it. Fuck it. Don't let uh -huh. it go to Don't ways. Don't let it go to ways. That's a, that's a beautiful fan. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's going to stay there, you know? Yeah. Just think of it as, like, you know, uh, I'm not traditional. Just think of it as if it dries up, I go in and I dip it. Just like a classic lash. If classic lashes can stay on your lashes, so is a pre-made and so is a fan that you just dipped and it dried up fast. I just go in and then it lasts even longer. All right, you guys. So we're about to, it's going to log us <laughs> off and then we're going to come back on because yeah. we've reached our limit on live. Exactly. All right, you guys. We'll be back.